All right, this is fifth grade module two, lesson 28. And in this lesson, students are gonna continue practicing that standard algorithm for dividing decimals. Uh, but this time we're gonna be doing it inside the context of word problems, just to give some students an additional way to try and cling on and grab that meaning of division. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of map out the problem, but I'm not actually going to do a lot of the standard, uh, a lot of the work. I'm going to let parents and teachers, at this point I think we have crossed over and passed that common core confusion, and now we're into that standard algorithm. So I'm going to leave that up to you, parents and teachers, to solve. But I'm going to draw the pictures to help make meaning of these problems. So it says Mr. Rice needs to replace... 166.25 feet of edging on the flower beds in his backyard. The edging is sold in lengths of 19 feet each. How many lengths of edging will Mr. Rice need? So we've got this edging, right, of his lawn, and that edging comes in 19 foot sections, right? So each one of these is 19 feet and the question is, how many of these do we need to, to get 166.25 feet? So the division there is any time, by the way, you've got something being cut into equal-sized pieces. That means you're either going to be talking about division or multiplication, because multiplication and division are both operations that deal with equal amounts. And so in this case we can see that we're going to take our 166.25 and divide by 19. Now, if you're going to use a calculator to check this, right, and of course, we, it's perfectly fine for students to use a calculator to check their work, um, they're going to type in 166.25 divided by 19. Um, at this stage of the game, when students start to uh, use calculators to check their work, they often don't know how to type this problem into the calculator. And it's this way, 166.25 divided by 19. And there's your work. So in this problem, Adam has 16.45 kilograms of flour. He uses 6.4 kilograms to make the hot cross buns, and then he, the remaining flour is exactly enough to make 15 batches of scones. How much flour in kilograms will be in each batch, batch of scones? Well, let's draw that picture first off. So this huge tape diagram represents the 16.45 kilograms of flour. Now we're going to begin by saying, well, let's just chop off this much right away. So this much is getting chopped off, and that's 6.4 kilograms, because that's for the hot cross buns, right? So that piece right there is for the hot cross buns. And then it says the remaining flour. Now we don't know how much is the remaining flour, but it's going to be used to make 15 batches of scones. So let's see, 15 batches. I'm going to cut it into thirds. Then I'm going to cut each one of those into five pieces. So there's our 15 um, batches of scones. And the question is, how much is one of those batches? Okay, so what's our steps? Well, First, we're going to take 16.45 and we're going to subtract 16.4. So we're lining up the decimal, and I could do this part really quick. So this huge section right here is equal to 10.05. And then because we want to know how much is one of those 15 sections, this is going to be the division problem that we do. And I'm going to leave that up to you, parents and teachers, to help your students with that one. There are 90 fifth grade students going on a field trip. Each student gives $9.25 to cover the admission to the theater and lunch. That's a tricky thing. That's two things. 
So the admission for all the students is $315, and then each student will get whatever's left over for lunch. So what we're going to do is first thing we're going to do is take the 9.25 and multiply by 90 because we have 90 students and each student turned in $9.25. So that's a quick one. I can help you with that. So now we have the zero. So now we're going to do 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 4 is 22. And then 9 times 9 is 81 plus 2 is 83. And so we see, now where's the decimal? Well, since we had two decimals in the problem, we're going to have two decimal places in the answer. So the students have turned in $832.50, but we got to take away $315. Why? Because that's admission. So now when we subtract, I'm going to do a little bit of regrouping here. We have $517.50 and, and that is going to be divided amongst the 90 students. And there is our division problem. So we didn't really have much of a tape diagram on this one. I kind of just kind of walked it through step by step. If I wanted to make a tape diagram, hmm, what would it look like? Well, I think my tape diagram would start like this, and it would say, it would be 90 times 925. And then I would take away, and I don't remember the value. What was the value? Oh, 315. And then I would take away, that's my symbol for taking away, $315. And then the question would be, how much is one of these kids? I think that's what my model would look like if I were to try and draw a tape diagram. And the last problem for this video, Ben is making math manipulatives to sell. He wants to earn at least $450. Each manipulative costs $18 to make, and he's selling them for $30. What's the minimum number of uh, manipulatives that he can sell? Well, the idea is we want to make... $450. But he's not selling, I mean, he's not earning $30 each because really they cost $18. So 30 minus 18 is $12. So he's really making $12 a piece. So the idea is how many 12s will go into 100, uh, 450. So that's my, right here is my tape diagram. And the division problem would be 450 divided by 12. And parents and teachers, once again, I'm going to leave it up to you to do the division. And that wraps up 5th grade module 2, lesson 28, using word problems to practice our division.